Welcome back to the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel. Today, we're working on a D6T LGP Caterpillar Dozer. So this machine here came from one of our really good customers, and we're actually reselling this machine in one piece. Usually when we take machines here to Iron King, we take them down into a bunch of little tiny pieces and then sell the parts. This one is fairly low hours and actually runs really good, and we figured it was too good to tear it down into the little tiny pieces. So we're gonna sell this machine complete we have it for sale now, and we have a potential buyer for it. He sent out one of his personal mechanics to come and inspect the machine, noticed a hydraulic leak, and we're gonna go and verify this hydraulic leak, find out where it's coming from so the customer knows exactly what kind of work this machine needs for him to perform. So I'm underneath the machine. As you can see, this belly pan here is leaking pretty bad. So I'm gonna take the jack, we're just gonna jack it up and then undo the, well, what appears to be only two bolts holding this belly pan on, and then hopefully find the leak so the customer inevitably knows what's wrong with it. I was wrong, mistakenly. There's one bolt here. There is supposed to be two bolts that hold this down so that the belly pan can hinge, so you don't have to take the whole thing off when you're doing a service. Um, they are obviously gone. One's missing here. That one's missing as well. So, should be pretty straightforward. Just jack it up. Undo the bolts, it'll come right off. A bunch of just random rocks here, so I'm just taking it over. Flatten this all out. Let's get it in the center here. Yep, yeah, it's got it. Ready? Yep. Do you guess the right size? Either inch and a quarter or inch and three sixteenths. Okay, I'll get you a new one. He's got an inch and an eighth, so it's going to be inch and a quarter, inch and three, six, 13, 16, something like that. So this customer, we're selling this machine in as-is condition, which we advise the customer to come in and check it out for themselves. Like I said, they had their mechanic and they noticed a the hydraulic leak on it, so we're checking it out for them. We're going to offer them a price for us to fix it or for them to fix it themselves and just keep the price according to that. So this is half inch drive. Let's just go with an inch and a quarter. I don't know if that's gonna be it. I got it. I got a feeling. Tell me if that's gonna fit. Bug. No, 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 no. Nice. That's it. This is gonna work. You gonna get it? Yeah. Maybe a little pry bar. Here we go. We're gonna pretend this isn't the 40th try. Little update on the D4. I've done nothing to it. There's your update. Like inevitably, I always end up underneath the garbage machine. Is this a trash one? Yeah. Is there trash in there? Probably. It's probably making your immune system better. Yeah. That's the way you gotta look at it. Here, I can lower this down a little bit. Okay. Now try yeah. it. I don't even gotta take that fucker out. Okay. Jack back up. What's gonna come out? Lots of trash. Do do do. Yep, there's the there's the smell. Mm hmm Look at that balance, dude. I know. Perfect. Fire the tractor up Driving and forward. just drive. Yeah, if you hand me this camera, I'll show you. She's she's dumping hydraulic fluid from somewhere. It's I'm probably a hose. I wish you guys had smell of vision right now, because it is not good. So what Robert is going to do is he's going to fire the dozer up, drive forward out from underneath the belly pan, and then we'll get a nice clear view of what's going on. Hey look, there's my 5.8 that I lost like two months ago. 
What? There's my 5 8 wrench I lost like two months ago. Really? Yeah, look, it's sitting right there in the belly pan. I got one down there too. Well, this I, one's mine. I, if it's a 16, it's mine. If it's 5 8, it's zero. Oh, okay. So this one's mine, and is it if there's a 16? Oh, is it a 16? There's a 16 right there. We got them both, both back. back. Yes. Forgot about this one, Cornwell screwdriver. It's just impossible to get when you're working on the dozer or something, and then you drop it down in the belly pan. It's just never coming back. Uh, yeah, no motivation to drop these belly pans. I mean, you can see why. So okay, so the plan is belly pans out now we have a really good view of what's actually leaking from that point we can hopefully identify the leak and then uh, let the customer know hey this is what's leaking if you'd like us to repair it this is the cost or if you'd like to have it as is this is the cost here it was it's definitely a hose on the bottom of the torque converter is the majority of the oil I think it's this hose right here so you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. The drip is coming off right here. Garbage off of it. So from what I can see, I think we just have a couple hoses leaking. Trash is very acidic, so it eats metal very easily. Uh, if you guys follow the Instagram, you can see where there's dozers with holes in the frame just from the acidity of the trash. So it wouldn't be surprising um, with how dirty the belly pan is, the age of the machine sitting in garbage that these hoses are just corroded and um, there's holes in them or even the clamps here these can be corroded or even if it ate through and you know the o-ring's bad so hopefully we'll uh, we'll go wash it off and we'll see what's going on with it so what our plan is is there's so much oil there we're gonna move this machine over to our wash bay clean underneath get all the oil sprayed off fire the machine back up and see where it's leaking. It's gonna be way easier to see the leak once we've sprayed everything off. All right, just due to the uh, sheer fact that I don't wanna lay underneath this thing and power wash it, I'm gonna pull the floor plates in the cab. Uh, just power wash from the top, make it a little easier for me, a little cleaner. I really don't like getting covered in garbage juices, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll go grab some tools and we'll that zipped out of there real quick. So also make sure to check out our new merch that we have. This is the Iron King Ink shirt with the shovel on the back. This is available on our website, ironkingmerch.com. Also have this one right here. At least is this the shovel or the grater? I'm not sure which one it is. Got graters, dozers, shovels, bunch of cool shirts. And these are all personal pictures that I've actually taken at mines or at shops that we're working at. So please, if you want to support the channel, buy yourself a shirt, ironkingmerch.com. So Robert got this machine all washed up. He's gonna fire it up, bring it back over to the gravel, and we're gonna look and see if we can find that leak. Um, I mean, the belly pan's already off, so we'll probably take a couple hoses off, put a couple other rings, and then we gotta fill it back up, so. If extent comes to that we need to fix it, we'll fix it. But hopefully it's nothing too bad and it's just a little, you know, one O-ring or a hose, something easy. Whoa. 
What do you see? What do you see? I was thinking Water. one of these. You know, uh -huh. This clamp right here, just because of the. It looks pretty dry. This hose looks pretty dry. It's dry up there. There's. Oh, it might be right here on the torque converter. Is that oil or water? It seems pretty watery. That's water. That's water. All water. Let's uh, let it drip here for about 20 minutes. Why don't you fire it up and just let it idle? It's all pretty dry there. It's. I think it's going to be something here from the bottom of this torque converter. Um. Even right here. Let's just fire it up, let her idle for 20 minutes, and then come back, take another look. So we pressure washed everything off, took a look. Can't see anything right now. We're gonna let this machine idle for about 20 minutes and then crawl back underneath it and see if we can find that leak. So we just parked this dozer. We're gonna let it drip dry here for a little bit, but I wanted to show you some cool, unique things about this D6 that I thought you might find interesting. So this undercarriage here is what they call system one. So a normal undercarriage on a dozer, the rail right here goes on the outside of the idler. This system one, which is proprietary to Caterpillar, the idler goes inside of the rail. So now a lot of people who do watch my channel at least in the comment section, let me know that if they're not too familiar with Caterpillar equipment or equipment in general, which is why they like to learn from my videos. Now, D6T LGP, what does LGP stand for? Well, that is low ground pressure. Now, if you look at these tracks, these are huge. These are probably a 30 plus inch track pad that is used to create less ground pressure on the ground. So if you're operating in uh, low pack conditions where if you have a really soft ground, you're in the woods, you're in mud, you have much better flotation. This machine was in trash, so they need extra flotation to stay up above the trash. They need these wider pads. They need an actual wider stance on the tractor to lower your individual ground pressure, right? So if your pad is smaller, you're gonna be putting more weight per square inch, more PSI, into each pad than if it was longer. So LGP is a really good option for uneven and loose ground. That's why they use them and that's what LGP stands for, low ground pressure. So this is a conventional undercarriage here. This is actually off of another D6, that D6 in particular, that has a conventional undercarriage. And if you look at these bushings, you can see these ginormous grooves. This is a pretty good example right here of where that sprocket has just rubbed the one side and the underneath of this bushing is like brand new. So Caterpillar's grand idea was to actually have this bushing here rotate inside of the rail and give you extended undercarriage life. Did that work out for them? In some cases, yes. If you talk to any operators or any heavy equipment technicians, they're gonna say no, they hate System 1 undercarriage. Do you hate it? Throw it down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on it. So another question I get asked a lot is these big red tanks. Now most people think that that's a big fire extinguisher. And in truth, yes, you are correct, but you're also incorrect. This is what you call fire suppression. So this big unit right here is full of fire extinguisher powder. This right here is a nitrogen cylinder so that when they're operating in trash conditions, if they're operating in uh, wood, wood piles, stuff that's very flammable, if the tractor picks up a piece of trash, picks up a piece of wood, gets stuck in the exhaust, somewhere hot, you have a fire, well up in the cab is a button that you're gonna depress that's going to pressurize this nitrogen cylinder it's going to pressurize this system and then there's little nozzles all around this tractor that are going to spray out fire retardant all over this machine to hopefully put out the fire. Fire suppression. Did you know 90% of the people who watch my channel don't subscribe? Please, if you like content like this dozer or this dozer 
or anything we do here, please click the button. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, so this thing's been sitting here for about 20 minutes idling. We just shut it off. We're gonna see if we found that leak. I'm gonna say it's this right here. That piece to the yep. converter? Yep. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, this is definitely the leak right here, 100%. Yep, so this is hydraulic fluid right here. Let's get us closer with the camera. So, your torque converter's right here. Well, sorry, hold on. This is your flywheel and this connects because it it's a wet flywheel so your torque converter is right here this little tube connects it because there's hydraulic fluid in here or sorry powertrain fluid and this is leaking just a little bit so that's definitely the leak that we were seeing now it's not bad there's also a tiny little seep right here but I think over the years, it's accumulated in there because with that trash and that belly pan, it hasn't had anywhere to go. So right here, that's an O-ring to fix it right here. Another O-ring right here to fix it. And then an O-ring right here. This is actually pretty good news. Other than that, this tractor is actually pretty dry underneath here. Okay, so we found the leak. It's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. So probably... The most expensive part of it's gonna be the oil, replacing that powertrain fluid in there. So you're probably gonna have four to $500 in powertrain fluid, a few hours of labor, and then those O-rings that we need to replace, which those are maybe $50 in O-rings. Pretty good outcome for what it could have been. And I think this customer is actually gonna be pretty happy with that. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna wrap the video up right here. And please make sure if you like content like this dozer, consider subscribing to the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.